Welcome back to Midnight Med. This video is on the claudication exam. Claudication means pain when walking, so we will talk about how to approach and examine a patient who presents with pain with walking. Now, as with all exams, you first start off with observations, and we'll talk about observations and differentials in the same spot. So the first possible cause are arterial causes, or arterial insufficiency. And if that's the case, you're likely to see a pale limbs. It would be painful, especially painful at rest. You may see ulcers on the lateral malleolus, gangrene, which is when you have prolonged ischemia resulting in necrosis and then a superimposed infection. So you may see this in diabetes. And then finally, amputations. So amputations of the toes are something that sounds kind of common sense, but you know, quite easy to miss if you're not cognizant of it. Also, observe atrophic changes such as the skin being more shiny, hair loss, as well as loss of like sebaceous glands, as well as thick nails. The next main cause are venous causes. Now, this may manifest as edema or swelling, typically bilateral pitting edema, varicose veins, and then these pictures show lipidematosclerosis as well as hemosiderin changes. So for the hemosiderin changes, you can, on the right you see darkened deposits, and for the lipidematosclerosis, you see those kind of thickened skin, thickened legs, as well as those color changes. You can also have ulcers, so typically on the medial malleolus side. Other potential causes are neurological, so you may see atrophy, usually disuse atrophy, and musculoskeletal causes, so typical signs of inflammation. As with all exams, after you observe, you then feel. So you're feeling for the temperature, if it feels cold due to um, arterial insufficiency, you're assessing capillary refill, if it's prolonged, concerning again for vascular causes, Palpating the pulses of so the femoral pulse around the groin area, popliteal pulse so behind the knee, dorsalis pedis pulse, so lateral to the extensa hallucis longus. So basically, between the big toe and the adjacent toe, and a bit further down from that, you can feel the muscle, the tendon, the posterior tibial pulse, so this is located posterior to the medial malleolus, and finally, light touch sensation. So this could be paresthesia in the setting of arterial insufficiency or may suggest a neurological cause. Then after you feel you want to move, so you move the leg. You can do a Burgess test, so this is where you hold the leg up at 45 degrees for one minute usually and you look for pallor in the big toe and then we sit the patient over, hang their legs over the bed, the pallor will disappear. Now maybe the toe will become pale at less than 45 degrees and this is known as Berger's angle. Uh, investigations you do an ankle brachial index so this is comparing the blood pressure at the ankle to the brachial artery and this is usually done because you're going to assume the peripheral vascular disease on the brachial artery and the supply to the brachial artery is minimal so the differences between the ankle and the brachial artery is due to peripheral vascular disease and generally if it's less than 0.5 you're being concerned you know 0.9 is kind of normal because you'd assume the lower legs are being diffused less than the arm and if it's actually more so greater than 1.1 you may consider calcification of the arteries you can also do imaging studies so ct angiogram or angiography as well as duplex duplex being both Doppler and the visualization. Finally, management, so it's intermittent claudication, so the patient doesn't always have pain when they're walking or disappears. You can focus on lifestyle changes, so exercise, diet, quitting smoking, as well as addressing cardiometabolic factors, for example, diabetes, hyperlipidemia, as well as your blood pressure. However, if there is consistent claudication or there's an emergency, you need to do revascularization as soon as possible. This can be in the form of 
embolectomy or endartectomy, as well as stenting and angioplasty. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. If you did, please tell a friend who may also find it useful.